making a comeback. If you are curious to know what it is about, we invited baby wearing expert Abby Yabot to tell us more about it. Hi, Abby. How are you? I'm good. All right, so let's talk about baby wearing. What is baby wearing and why would you recommend it? Baby wearing is actually the practice of carrying or wearing your baby in a sling or any type of carrier. Mm -hmm. So what, what we know about it is that it's beneficial for both moms and babies. It's good for moms because number one, the babies have a natural need to be cuddled and be yes. close to you. And if you do that the whole day, it will kind of hurt your back. So mm -hmm. baby wearing will help ease a little bit of back pain. It will give the... It corrects your posture. Yes, corrects yeah. your posture. It also gives you the bonding that you need for your child. And because there's better bonding, if you release a certain kind of hormone, a happy hormone, mm -hmm. which also lessens um, postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. So all in all, it, it, it's good for the mom because you're able to care for your child and do other tasks too. So because you're your hands are free. Mm -hmm. And with baby wearing, the child is more calm and more secure. Yeah. They cry less. They learn more because they spend less time, you know, crying and frowning. So, wait lang, there's also this um, parent attachment. What is parent attachment? Is that attachment parenting? Attachment, attachment parenting. Attachment parenting yeah, is a go, yeah. Yeah, word coined by Dr. Sears. Okay. And it's actually based on the attachment theory, which means that the child is naturally, there's a natural need for a child to be attached to a caregiver. Okay. Um, and this is um, important because it's lasting positive effects on the child mm -hmm. no, when, she, when she grows up. Like? Like, say, for example, because, well, in attachment parenting, you'd like to not be separated from the child from birth until at least the ninth mm -hmm. month. That's why they say 18 months from the time that the baby is conceived. And because they were in the tummy for nine months, they only mm -hmm. heard the mom's heartbeat, the murmurs of her, her voice, yeah. and then she's soothed by the um, walking motions of the mom. So when you wear the baby, um, and when you when the baby is attached to you, she sort of like continues that kind of um, experience. So she's more calm, and because she's more calm, she also learns more about her environment. So attachment parenting is is really more about the baby being close, physically close to, if not the mom, a caregiver most of the time, and that is recommended because you feel the need to be um, the the need of the child to be always cuddled so that they develop faster. Okay, so what are the different kinds of slings? There are actually five basic types of carrier. The sling is one of them. The sling because um, it's called the sling. That means that it slings from one shoulder mm -hmm. and then down. Yeah. So either you're right-handed or you're left-handed. Um, it can be a ring sling. Yeah. It can be the regular malong because mm -hmm. you actually tie that and then you, if you see the Muslims know how they do it or the Ifugaos, they just tie up a pella and then mm -hmm. they carry the baby. Or it can be a pre-structured sling na parang like a pouch. No? Mm -hmm. The other type is um, what you call the Mai Tai. The okay, Mai Tai is like a pouch in front of you and then there's um, a big sash that you tie around. Oh yes, many yes, times. yes, yes. That's what I used with um, Gavin, yeah. and it supports their the buttocks. Lower back, yeah. yeah. So for those who are, um, how they say, it, don't like complicated mm -hmm. slings, yeah. What would you recommend for them? What is the easiest? The easiest really is the soft structured carrier because it works like a knapsack, and it can work in different positions, mm -hmm. and it grows with the child. So there are, it's like um, you, you wear something like a buckle on your hip mm -hmm. and then you put the baby in and then wear it like a knapsack. Okay. Baby can be in front, baby can be on the side and at the back. That's the simplest. How young to how old can yeah. If you have a newborn. Infants to, to um, kids. To, yeah. yeah. The safest carrying for, uh, for an adult's back is up to 35 pounds. So, okay. although most slings and carriers will say that they're safe up to 200 pounds, it's not safe for the caregiver of course, yeah. to carry somebody who's <laughs> yeah. 200 pounds. So, 35 pounds more or less is about two to two and a half years okay. old. And that's the safest way to carry the baby. And then the youngest? The youngest, for the easiest, because um, you'll need the baby to be six months for them to be in a soft structured carrier. However, if you have that insert, then you put something inside to make the baby a little snug. bit more snug yeah. and tight, then you can carry the baby from birth. All right, I'm sure a lot of our viewers out there want to know how to get in touch with you. How do they get in touch with you, Abby? Well, they can call me at my number 0998 530 1448 
or they can also log on and like my Facebook pages, The Breastfeeding okay. Club or La Leche League Manila. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So there I post all the schedules of the classes and whatever activities ah, that so I have. So you have classes pa? Yes. Classes in breastfeeding? I have classes other in things. breastfeeding, baby wearing, parenting. I have play group classes too. So oh, anything great. about parenting, I love parenting. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. It is a pleasure getting to know you and getting to know your, of course, it's an advocacy, right? Yes, so that's thank true. you very much for joining us here in Mommy Manual. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.